Good afternoon. Welcome to the Daily Office. Thank you for joining me. This is evening prayer for Friday, February 20th. It's the last week after the Epiphany and the scripture for this service. Psalm 35 and John chapter 1 verse 35 to 42. <clears throat> Please join me in singing verse 4 of Psalm 95. Today listen to the voice of our God. Harden not your hearts as in the desert. When at Meribah and Massa they challenged me and provoked me, even though they had seen all of my works. O oh God, come to my assistance, make haste to help me. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Plead my cause, O God Most High, with them that strive against me. Psalm 35. Please recite it together with me. Plead my cause, O God Most High, with them that strive against me. Fight them that fight me. Take hold of shield and buckler, and stand up and help me. Draw the spear, and stop them that persecute me. Say to my soul, I am your salvation. Let them be confounded, and put to shame that seek my life. Let them be turned back, and brought to confusion, that plot my harm. Let them be like chaff before the wind, and let your angel chase them. Let their path be dark and slippery, and let your angel persecute them. For without a cause they have hid their net in a pit to take me alive. Let destruction surprise them, and let them be caught in the net that they have hid. Into that very pit let them fall. My soul shall be joyful in you, and rejoice in your salvation. My whole being shall say, my God, who is like you, who delivers the poor from the oppressor and the needy from those that rob them? False witnesses rise up. They charge me unjustly. They rewarded me evil for good. My soul is in despair. But when they were sick, I dressed in sackcloth. I humbled myself with fasting, and I prayed with my whole heart. As if they had been my friends or brothers, I bowed down and grieved as one that mourns for his mother. But they rejoiced when I stumbled and gathered themselves together. They gathered themselves together against me. They surprised me and tore me to pieces and would not stop. They mocked me and put me to the test. They gnashed me with their teeth. Oh God, how long will you look on? Rescue me from their destructions. Save my life from these lions. I will give you thanks in the great congregation. I will praise you among the peoples. Let not my lying enemies rejoice over me. Do not let them that hate me without cause wink at each other. For they do not wish for peace, but they devise plots against the peaceful in the land. They opened their mouths wide against me and said, Aha! With our own eyes we have seen it. You saw it, O God, keep not your silence, be not far from me. Arise and awake to my cause, come to my defense, my God most high. Vindicate me, my God, according to your righteousness. Do not let them rejoice over me. Do not let them say in their hearts, ah, just as we would have it, we have swallowed him up. Let them that rejoice at my hurt be ashamed and confused. Let them that boast against me be clothed in shame and dishonor. Let them shout for joy and be glad that favor my righteous cause. Let them ever say how great you are who takes pleasure in my prosperity. And my tongue shall speak of your righteousness and sing your praise all the day long. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. 
Plead my cause, O God Most High, with them that strive against thee. A lesson from the Holy Gospel according to John, chapter 1, beginning at verse 35. <clears throat> the next day, John, again, was standing with two of his disciples. And as he watched Jesus walk by, he exclaimed, Look, here is the Lamb of God. The two disciples heard him say this, and they followed Jesus. And when Jesus turned and saw them following, he said to them, What are you looking for? <clears throat> And they said to him, Rabbi, which translated, translated means teacher, where are you staying? And he said, come and see. And they came and saw where he was staying. And they remained with him that day. It was about four o'clock in the afternoon. One of the two who heard John speak and followed him was Andrew, Simon Peter's brother. <clears throat> he first found his brother Simon and said to him, we have found the Messiah which is translated anointed. He brought, he brought Simon to Jesus, who looked at him and said, You are Simon, son of John. You are to be called Cephas, which is translated Peter. Here ends the lesson. And now let us offer our prayers and petitions. And please respond, hear us, tender God. For those who are strangers and travelers, that we may welcome them as Christ. And for those who are alone, we pray. Hear us, tender God. For the sick, especially Jeffrey. For the aged and the infirm, especially Marjorie and Brother Ronald Francis. That they may be protected and find courage and hope in your mercy, we pray. Hear us, tender God. For prisoners and captives, especially Robert and Christopher, for the persecuted and for refugees, that they may be judged in righteousness and find freedom in your truth, we pray. Hear us, tender God. For all who died, especially Martin, Sarah, Brother Stephen Edward, William, Brother Walter Arthur, and Stephen, that together with Francis and Claire and all your saints, they may have a place in your eternal kingdom, we pray. Hear us, tender God. For the intentions of those who've asked our prayers and for all of your intentions. We pray. Hear us, tender God, together. Our beloved, which art in heaven, holy is your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, forgive us as we forgive others. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Let us pray. <clears throat> o saving God, we rejoice at your mighty help. May we live our lives in your joy, and may our mouths ever praise you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Bless Jesus, my soul, and may the God of hope fill us with all joy and peace in believing through the power of the Holy Spirit. Amen.